What's up digital marketing agency owners? On today's video, I wanna talk about uh, some of the strategies that we found work best to get our clients ranked organically in the non-paid listing. So if you're running SEO agency or your, your agency, you wanna just do a little bit better with the results you generate via organic search, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. So like I said, on this video, I really wanna get into some of the, the strategies and tactics that we found work best for getting our clients ranked organically. And I really believe as a digital marketing agency owner, you wanna have a diversified strategy. So you're not just coming to the client and saying, hey, pay me 1,500 bucks a month and I'm gonna do your SEO. Um, and you don't wanna, on the same equation, just say, hey, pay me 1,500 bucks a month and I'm gonna run your ads. What we found works best is if you can come to the client and say, hey, look, we're gonna help you generate the results that you want, the, the, the leads and sales that you're after, and we found this blend of services works best. Website, SEO, paid search, tracking, marketing automation. When you do it that way, you're gonna have a, a better value proposition for the client base, you'll be able to charge more, but in addition, you'll be able to, to kind of blend the results across the variety of channels. That's been critical for us and the hundreds of agencies we work with in Send Figure Agency to, um, to, to improve retention, right? When you have more hooks and you got more services, that's where you can really impact the client in terms of results and you can impact your retention where clients stay with you longer. And so I really believe you can be great with paid search, but some of the best growth that we see for our clients is from the organic side of the equation. Once we get the client ranked in the organic listings, their phone starts to ring more, the return on investment is greater, their average cost per lead is less, and it makes everything we do for them more effective. So the question I like to start with here on this video is, does SEO really matter, right? I know as digital marketers, we're seeing local service ads move up, we're seeing paid ads take more presence, we're seeing the organic results move further and further down the list, and so the question is, does it even make sense for us to advocate this or to do this for our clients? And so I wanna share some examples because listen, you know, I, I, if it doesn't, doesn't matter, I would say, hey, don't waste any time on it. Let's not focus on it. But if it does, you need to know that, right? And you need to understand what's happening. You need to make sure that you put those strategies into play. And so like right now, if we run a search for Denver Plumber, what we're finding is 71% of the clicks go to the organic listings, right? This is the lat latest data as the time of, I'm, I'm shooting this video, 71%, despite the fact that there's local service ads, despite the fact that there's Google ads, 71% of the searchers still click the map in the organic listings. And we're finding this is true in home services, in legal, in healthcare, and all of those different industries. Up to further that, 67% of people click on what happens on the first page in the first five results. So if you can get your clients ranked on the first page, and especially in the first handful of listings on the map listing and the first couple organic results, you're going to be driving lots of qualified traffic for them. Uh, so yes, SEO still matters. As an illustration of this, one of the companies we work with is the Meridian Advantage. They're a plumbing, HVAC, electrical contractor in East Lansing, Michigan. Um, and you can see if we type in East Lansing, anything, plumber, plumbing, drain cleaning, you know, all of their keywords, they typically come up number one on the map, number one organically. Um, and I can say, we do this for a lot of clients. What I'm gonna be showing you, we've got hundreds of clients ranked dominantly. So I'm gonna be sharing some of our best strategies there. Uh, but if we kind of look at the results for the client, and I really think you need to be able to show your client, here's what you spent, here's how many leads you generated, here's your return on investment. If we look in this case, they spent $8,000, we, we know we tracked 417 leads, and that's an average of $19.32 per lead across all the stuff we do, right? We're doing SEO and pay-per-click and, and the whole nine yards. But really what I wanna draw your attention to is 95% of those leads came directly from organic search. Another 173 came from Google Maps. And so 65% of the leads we generate from them come because we get them so well ranked. And so if they didn't have uh, an SEO strategy and they were just focused on Google ads or they were just focused on local service ads, they'd be leaving a lion's share of the opportunity on the table. So again, lots of additional stats on why SEO still matters and why SEO is still important. Uh, feel free to look at this slide and check it out after. 
Um, but I, I want to talk a little bit about some of the changes that have happened in the Google algorithm and really today help you focus on the 80-20 principle, the 20% of the things you can do for your clients that will generate 80% of the results in terms of getting them ranked, in terms of getting them those calls, and ultimately getting them a great return on their investment. Um, and you know, we're, we're studying all of the latest changes and all of the latest industry information in terms of what's happening. Uh, but ultimately, when it comes to SEO, right, you've got technical, you've got what you do on page, you've got what you do off page with links, dimensions, citations, and then you've got expertise. And really, this is where things are really building. Uh, you want to make sure that you're building for your client expertise, authority, and trust, building up their authorship, building up their links, building up their relevancy through their website, through the content you post on their behalf, and through their social profiles, which sync back to the website itself. Looking at the latest um, ranking factors, right, and we're constantly studying this, um, what we have we found to be uh, what moves the needle most at the very top is Google My Business, GMB, then on page, like how you structure the content, how you structure the title tags, H1 tags, meta descriptions, unique content. Um, then we've got your online reviews, helping your clients drive online reviews from their real customers on Google, on Yelp, on Angie, on the review profile sites that make the biggest difference to them. Uh, links are still really important, right? If you've got the, the website set up perfectly with all the right pages and all the right content, but you're not building authority to the homepage and to the service pages through links and through citations, eventually they're not gonna move up the way that they could. Um, behavioral, like is actually your website. Like once they get to the website, are they scrolling? Are they clicking? Are they sticking around? That has a big impact on how well they're gonna rank and so there's certain things you wanna do on that regard. Um, citations, still important but not as relevant as they have been in the past. Right, as local SEO people, we used to always just be, let's get them ranked on the map. We're gonna claim the GMB or the Google business profile. We're gonna build lots of citations and that will win the day. Um, our latest information is telling us that, that has dropped down as a, a priority, right? Because you can put them in Yext and you know the amount of citations and references of their name, address, and phone number isn't as big a deal as it once was. Uh, and so if you'd like this pie chart that you can share with your clients in your industry, let me know, just type ranking factors and I'll give you a customizable version of this that you can use to, to tell your clients, here's how we're prioritizing the focus or really even to position yourself as an expert in your particular niche. Uh, but as, as we define it, right now working with 176 of some of the top plumbing HVAC electrical companies across the country um, and most of them ranking really well organically, the formula that we tend to follow and that we focus on is for, we gotta figure out what the keywords are that the customers are typing, right? And we do a lot of research using Ahrefs and SEMrush and all of these different tools to figure out in our niche, what are their customers actually typing in? Plumber, plumbing, drain cleaning, water heater installation, water heater repair, you know, gar garbage disposal replacement, those types of terms, really figuring out where the search volume is um, and you guys are all digital marketing experts, so I don't need to tell you the tools, but the Google Keyword Tool is still the best in terms of getting good, accurate data. Uh, WordStream, SpyFu, Google Ads, all of these are great places to figure out where the search volume is. Keywords Anywhere is also one of my favorite Google Chrome plugins that gives you great insights on this front. From there, we've got to create website for the client that targets those keywords. Um, and so for us, usually, Practically speaking, what we're doing is we're setting up a website, we're creating pages for each of their services. So if they do drain cleaning, if they do water heaters, if they do indoor air quality, we need a page specifically for each one of those. Uh, and we need unique content on each. I still advocate for writing unique content from a human writer. Yes, you can spin this up with AI. Yes, that's cheaper. Yes, there's some leverage to doing it that way. Uh, but the, the verdict is still out. Will the or, or AI content actually rank? Will it stick? Will it be relevant? Um, there's tests, and there's people in seven-figure agency that are doing that tests, and they're, they're winning, right? Especially like in the current moment. Um, and so let's keep a pulse. But regardless of whether you write it manually or whether you, you know, like write it through AI, you wanna have your client with pages for each of their services, and then pages for each of the cities that they operate in. So in our case, our plumbing companies usually serve a 25 to 30 mile radius. So we're gonna create a page that says, you know, top plumber in Orlando, and then, you know, all of the surrounding cities and towns. 
Now, don't go crazy with it. Usually, we're, we pick like their top 10 subsidies and towns, and that's what we include in our program. And if they want more, we can create more. And so, foundationally, we've got pages for each of the services, pages for each of the cities, and we do on-page optimization, right? You've got the keywords in the title, keywords in the H1, unique content. Um, if you want to go deeper on this, like go SEO nerd status, type SEO nerd status here in the comments, and I'll get you some checklists and some things where we do technically on the website itself. From there, you've got to update the user experience for your client. You've got to make sure you're not just putting a lot of technical jargon on the page, but you're also creating an experience that optimizes for what happens when they get there, right? Um, and that's like time on page, are they clicking, are they actually doing stuff, is the website loading very quickly, does it pass GT metrics? Um, and then we have to optimize the on-page optimization, title tags, H1 tags, everything like that. And we have to build authority, right? I think a lot of agencies sleep on this, and I also think a lot of agencies overthink this, right? You have to, over time, build links back to their homepage and those city pages and those service pages. We also have to build citations and web references, but I'm not gonna go tell you, go build a, a, like a, a massive PBM network or go buy links for clients every single month. Just create good content, build relevant links. Use, well, I'm a big fan of using uh, Quantum Newswire, which is a, a service that lets us, now Signal Genesis lets us put out a news release and link back to the home page, the service pages, to the city pages. And over time, that's part of our content strategy to build up authority. And then of course, we've got to track the results. Like which keywords, how are they ranking? I use Bright Local internally for this, but there's lots of great tools uh, to, to, to really see where your clients are coming up for the keywords that you identified in the process. Uh, and so again, I could talk for 45 minutes to an hour on this. We probably do a whole day workshop just on how to do SEO for your clients. Hopefully you took away some nuggets and maybe some things that you say, hey, you, you know, these are some things I should either add or maybe spend less time focused on. Um, I've got a great little checklist that I'm happy to provide you with that you can run your SEO strategy through for your clients. Um, just type checklist here in the comments. That'll trigger me and my team to grab you that link and, and send it over. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. You know, maybe there's something I said that you're like, no, that's not right. Or maybe there's something you said like, yes, 100%. Let me know that in the comments. If you have follow-up questions, you know, hey, like Josh, what are you doing on this front? Or what tools do you use for that? Post those in the comments. I'm all about helping you generate better results for your clients. Because I know as an industry, if we can, you know, be good at landing clients, but be exceptional at how we deliver for the clients and then knock it out for the clients on a consistent basis, be world class in the results, help our clients grow, we're all gonna win, right? Our clients are gonna win because they believe that marketing works and they know SEO and pay-per-click and social media and all these strategies aren't just uh, smokes and mirrors, but they can actually generate leads and sales that help our clients grow. And as our clients grow, they're gonna be willing to pay us as an industry more. They're gonna stick around with us longer. So uh, I, I wanna share more and more of what we're finding works best. If this was useful, press the like button, share this with another agency that you think would benefit. Uh, and if you got other follow-up questions, let me know in the comments. That's it for today. I look forward to talking with you again soon.